Welcome back. Time now for the trending stories people are clicking on today at WKRG.com. Kimber Collins joins us in the studio today. Kimber, we're already talking about pumpkin spice. Do you know what's in the stuff? Actually, no. What is it, Dana? All right, here we go. Here are some ingredients. It really surprised me to find out there's actually no pumpkin in this recipe. Pumpkin spice is made out of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and cloves, but I'm pretty sure there's also some flannel mixed in there, too. That definitely fits the season, <laughs> but I feel like I have to apologize first, right? We're talking about pumpkin spice in August, but mm -hmm. I digress. I am a PSL fan, so bring on that cup of noodles and a tweet. <laughs> they actually say, did we kill pumpkin spice or bring it back from the dead? So the ramen noodle company says the new flavor will sit on Walmart shelves this October. The fall-inspired cup is not soup-based. The noodles are saucy and made with that pumpkin, non-pumpkin seasoning. <laughs> the special release is part of the company's 50th anniversary, and for a full pumpkin spice experience, they recommend you top the cup with whipped Cream. Maybe it's the sweet and savory effect there. I'm not sure, but I am willing to try it, Dana. I am out. This is one I do not think I will be trying. Uh, it's just, oh man, that is so gross. Oh, they make everything out of pumpkin spice these days. And I would not put whipped cream on that. All right. <laughs> Things like this video you're about to see are sure to go viral. A man in handcuffs broke away from officers in Oklahoma this week, but it's what he did next. After running into the woods, he stole a four wheeler and began a chase. One held helicopter caught the chase on camera. The pilot saying the ATV was going nearly 70 miles per hour. There's no information on why the man was originally arrested, but after the cops blocked some dirt roads in his path, the suspect crashed out in some muddy water and was back in custody. And the helicopter pilot also said he has seen many chases, but nothing like this one. This reminds me of another thing that looks like it's straight out of a video game. Is this some Grand Theft Auto that we're seeing here? Well, maybe it was Grand Theft He did steal an ATV. A little so bit. A ATV little Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I like it. All right, well, we may have a new summer favorite next year from Mountain Dew. Check it out. PepsiCo and Boston Beer are teaming up to create an alcoholic Mountain Dew drink. Mm -hmm. The 5% beverage will be called Hard Mountain Dew and will be similar to the seltzers on the market today. We have to wait a bit before we can try it, though. The release date is set for early next year, 2022. And despite being Mountain Dew, it will not have any caffeine in it, Dana. I don't know about this. We heard a little bit. You're going to tell us Debbie Williams is not a fan of the no caffeine. Yes, yeah, she is. She loves Mountain Dew, drinks it all the time. But she says you can't improve on perfection anyway. There's no caffeine, <laughs> no sugar. Like, what's the point? I mean, I do love Mountain Dew. I just, without the caffeine, I feel like it's just a little lacking. A little bit. So here's the next question, right? What are the flavors? And to start, we're going to have three flavors. The original Mountain Dew, mm -hmm. black cherry, and watermelon. I don't know. I mean, I'm here for the original, but I do have to ask, where is the Baja Blast? Absolutely. Where is it? I feel like Taco Bell's next in that partnership, right? <laughs> but those are today's online headlines. You can see much more like this on WKRG.com.